Greetings. So this is My Hero Academy, episode one, Izuku Midoriya Origin. Let's start. Ooh, green hair. Can't you see he's crying? So he's gonna go with subtitles. Oh, bullies. Not all men created equal. That's what I've learned at young age. Mm. And that was my first and last setback. Not a bad start. Izuku, so that's the name of the main character. So the guy running through the city to see some action. Oh. A little bit of music, a little bit of characters. It's very, very quick. Since the moment I woke up, I was watching the recording of lectures and different kind of interviews, you know, analysis of different situation in the world and it is definitely stressful. And watching anime after yeah and of course drinking tea <sighs> I'm watching this all through Crunchyroll Which is quite a fun app It would be great to work there And 
of course the best would be if they would give subtitles to the songs as well. I don't know, this opening of My Hero Academy reminds me of my favorite one. First and favorite one of course. The first is very important. You you just you can never for, mm, forget. For me that was bleach. Oh my god, if I don't like something in a series, it's this. When they start with, with lots of words, a whole history, and they don't show it. You know, there, there is a sort of rule. Don't say it, you know, show it. And this is how I like a story to be delivered for me when they show me the background story not like someone comes and as a lecturer tells the whole background story lots of lots of words and it's boring Before we knew it, Supernatural became reality. Ooh, superhuman civilization. Eighty percent of the world's population now has some kind of special trait. Eighty percent is a lot if we count babies and old people. That is a lot. And right now we see a city here. One huge villain. A bad guy destroying everything and half of the city is just standing there watching. Is it possible when eighty percent of the whole civilization has superpowers? Like, the remaining 20% must be living in this city. Backdraft. I absolutely love it. We see the crowd and obviously everyone reacts in a different way. Someone asking what's going on, the other one calling his boss that he's gonna be late. Oh. Actually I got a, a warning 
last time because I was running late and I didn't call my boss so Fun boy. Yes, it's obvious. Superpowers for everyone and the crime is rising. <laughs> I actually like how the new girl just jumped in the front line. No, oh, he's taking notes. This is cute. Junior high. Oh, wow. They are in a high school. And the teacher saying that now you should really think of your future. Oh, I remember my junior height. No one knew what they wanna do. I think I, I always knew, I always known. Hero course. Google. Oh my god, and obviously the student came up. Everyone's favorite, the best one. Oh.
So we have a school for the elite. And it's really hard to get in. And we have two people competing. One is the main character and one is the most talented one. This is actually a very, very interesting situation because no one is the best. There's always someone who's better. Always. There is no reason to be anxious about that. Ooh, action scene again. This is a reoccurring situation. Same with Assassin's Pride. Assassin's Pride. When someone has the motivation but they lack the talent. That is actually a good question if you practice enough. Can you can you rise to the top one to the top ten? I'm doing two schools at the moment so I can relate to these sort of situations. And it bo and in both schools the teacher is saying to us that practice makes perfect one school I do almost every day and there's another school I do only once or twice a week I call that my second school because I do two together and one is the first school which I spend most of my time and there's like a second school where I spend only I spend only maybe two afternoons a week and in that one our teacher told us that imagination is very important because if you can imagine that you can do it, you can do it. But if you can't even imagine you doing what you're supposed to do, then the whole case is hopeless. And that's why I liked when the main character with the green hair was taking notes. Very, very good touch. I love this. The main character with the green hair is checking the net on his phone and comparing it with his notes. 
because actually just before starting this I was doing the same since the moment I woke up and since then I drank like two liters of coffee and tea <sighs> Oh my god, this stuff is very relatable. Okay, back to school. So the blonde guy with all the talent saying, we're not done talking yet. Here analysis for the future. Oh my god, these bullies know nothing about private property. I'm a perfectionist. Well, treating the, the other people is never really good. But it's easy to be the top one if you kill off all the competition. What's going on? The camera just stopped. Too much queerness in the room. <laughs> okay, moving on to the flashback. So we have a flashback here, he's a kid and he's watching a video of a disaster and the hero showing up but it's it's not a cartoon basically this is his reality 
That is a little bit weird, yeah? Oh my god, now they are the doctors. And the mother is asking if it's something wrong with him. Uh. Oh, so sad. The doctor just told him that <sighs> his powers will never gonna manifest. This kid really want to contribute something to the society. But he has no tools to do that. And he's crying and, the, and his mother said, I'm so sorry. This is a very touching scene, even though the mother it's not his mother's fault, obviously. Okay, back to the present. Okay, back to the present and And after the awful incident with the bully he's walking home and he's saying hold your head up high oh.
Hmm. He got that tagged. He is going to choke to death slowly. Choke to death. Good, someone showed up. Texas mesh It's all over. So basically his hero just saved him. <laughs> this guy was on the video he was watching as a child. <laughs> and now he's like shaking. Because his hero He's talking to him. Oh my god. I remember when I met famous people the first time. I was the same. For example, in one of the Comic Con, I met Gail Simone. Gail Simone was next to me, maybe a few feet apart. And, I, and, and she was like, okay, if you want, you can ask questions now. And I had like a thousand questions to ask. And I was like, I just couldn't talk because this is Gail Simone. Mm. Oh, the autograph. I just love this tradition that you can ask for an autograph because if you can't talk, you can still ask for an autograph. And they do it anyway, without any, even if you, you don't have any communication skills, because of the shock. <laughs> you don't see it now, because behind me that's the window, but on the other side, 
I have the bookshelves and most of the books over there are dedicated to me. Yeah, almost all of them has an autograph. So the hero wanted to get away and, and our main character, the guy with the green hair just tug along Oh no, this is really sad. When he stops and thinking about giving up. Oh my god, I can't handle it. Can someone be like you? Oh my god, how rude is that to finish off with a question not answered? <laughs> to be honest, I watched this show the first time it came out and I could handle the first 10 minutes but somehow I was not in the, in the mood. And I just stopped it halfway through and and that's it and I forgot all about it and someone on Instagram said that he's watching My Hero Academy and I said no 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 don't watch it don't waste your time because it's uh, it's not a good show and he wrote me back that yes it is it is one of the greatest show right now out there the best anime out there and i was like okay because you saying that i'm going to give a second chance and i did and it's it's great of course you need to be in a in a certain mood to enjoy it <sighs> But if you're in the mood, this is really a, a great show. <laughs> 